What's going on there, guys? We back with another one. And today we got to talk about Kevin Porter Jr. His NBA career is essentially over after this, guys. Now, he attacked his WNBA girlfriend, Kaiser Gonzarich, and this thing has turned into a mess. You know, her sister, who was married to Dwayne Haskins before his untimely death, uh, called him out, and we're about to get into all that. So, they were in New York City, and you could even see Kaiser posted, you know, a video that she was in Chris Brickley's gym where a lot of NBA players meet up and they play basketball over the summer. And she was there supporting Kevin Porter Jr. You know, he was out there with Trey Young, a bunch of other players. Whatever happened over the course of the rest of that day, you know, he went out in Times Square was out and about doing his thing, doing his one-two. And he came back really late. And allegedly, Kaiser locked him out of the room. And um, he went down and he got hotel personnel to let him in the room. But once he got inside the room, altercation ensued. She has a cut above her right eye and a fractured neck vertebra. We see the footage of Kevin Porter Jr. getting picked up from his hotel after the incident we see him getting escorted into the precinct after the fact and this man he just signed a 82 million dollar deal only 15 million of that was guaranteed Uh, but the team has the right to waive him you know they don't have to retain him so he may only get 15 million of that and He'll probably probably be out of the NBA. You know, he has a domestic and the, the this police report is damaging. And also this lady plays in the WNBA. Kaiser Gazarich, that is, you know, she's not currently on the team, but she's still a free agent and a part of the association, which is under the NBA's umbrella. So I don't see any way that he can come back from this. Um so he's going to lose nearly $70 million in NBA contracts. You know, her sister called Kevin Porter Jr. out and says that, you know, you better not go back to that house. We know you stay in. Um, you know, it's going to go bad for you. You'll be lucky to dribble the ball again. You know, we would do that to you, basically. You know, is what she's saying. So this dude has really lost himself Um before the final time. And and this is, for me, this is a problem because John Lucas, you know, when he was storming out of the gym, going back to the locker room during games and stuff, John Lucas is the reason that he was around as long as he was. John Lucas saw a troubled individual and wanted to, you know, not just throw him by the wayside because you let these people go and then you see in the newspaper a uh, person – maybe deceased or maybe doing bad or whatever the case, knowing and, and feeling like you could have helped them not go down that path. You try to do all you can. But I think at this point, man, after this has happened, it's going to be out of his control because this is going to be coming from the league itself, whatever punishment he gets. Now, he's he's been ordered to post $75,000 in cash or a $100,000 bond to secure his release. Um, and he's obviously been ordered to stay away from Kaiser Gazarich. Uh, so he, he's supposed to appear back in court in Manhattan on October the 16th. The Rockets supposed to play in San Antonio, a preseason game that day. Um, it says that Gazarich told police Porter punched her repeatedly in the face with a closed fist, cutting her above the right eye and causing bruising and substantial pain to her face. Forcefully squeezed her neck with his hands, causing her difficulty breathing, redness and bruising to her neck. And, you know, the hospital confirmed that she had a fractured vertebrae in her neck. And they are gathering more information as we speak. So, Kevin Porter Jr., I don't see a path back to him continuing his NBA career after this. This is very unfortunate for the young woman. I mean, you have an $82 million contract. You could just go get another room. She locked you out of that room. If you wanted to talk, you get you a room. Even if you end up in that room 
with her later that night. You go in your room, you call her, and if she don't answer, she don't answer. She fuss. You check the temperature. You get you another room since you have money like that. Them rooms can't be no more than eight hundred a night, no matter what the season is. You know, even if it's a, a thousand, you know, you go get you that room that night. Check the temperature. She starts to feel better, you know, or she she's more open to talking later. Then, you know, that's when y'all will talk. But don't go in there. They let you in there, and now you angry because you had to go through all that to get into the room. Because now you've thrown the rest of your NBA career away for a moment of rage, and that's so not wise. And, you know, this young man has had several chances. In Cleveland, you know, he had – all these chances, you know, you 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 even seen LeBron James, others take up for him, and now it's a wrap. You know, it's a wrap for his NBA career. You're not getting past a domestic versus a WNBA player. People are gonna say, "Well, Miles Bridges got to come back." Honestly, and unfortunately, the nature of the business is the WNBA and the NBA are one and the same. And one of their own attacked another one of their own. And this man is done because he's had multiple chances. And it's looking like instead of a character flaw or some, you know, just some flaws that he can fix, it looks like with the pattern of behavior he's exhibited that this is who he is as a person. And unfortunately, I ain't the one that he got to convince that he's not. It's them. And he's probably going to get waived and nobody else is going to pick him up, man. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. But let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.